I have two of the most important things in the United States to say to you today. First and foremost, the most important thing. Today, you need to go vote. You need to go vote, period. Even if you have to not watch this video to go and focus on voting, please do. Please, 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 please use your vote. It is a right, it is a privilege, and it is your duty as an American citizen. So let's come together as my grandchildren. There is over 400 of you, and I expect every single one of you who is able to go vote, to go vote. Get your booty, your cute little booty, to the polls today. And the second most important thing that had me shaking and quaking with joy, our girl, Miss Amberlynn Reed, is back. And today we are watching her comeback video simply titled, I Am Back. Hey guys, so, Long time no see. How yeah. are you guys doing? Um, how do you film? So it is Halloween. So happy Halloween. I know you guys are probably not seeing this on Halloween, but it is Halloween and I am Wednesday Adams. Yes. <laughs> I was literally like thinking, what is Miss Amberlynn Reed today? I am so used to her showing us her beautiful and creative, wonderful costume. So I was very upset to not know. I am thrilled to see her picking such an icon to celebrate on Halloween. If you guys don't know who that is, there she is. Oh, I'm sure okay, editing. You know who that is. I also dressed up as a Minnie Mouse, I wanna say about a week ago or so, because I went to Becky's sister's house where we all dressed up and we just had tons of fun. So I'll show you that clip right here. I show you guys every oh. year my Halloween costume. So I wanted to show you this year, I am okay, work. Minnie Mouse. Okay, gloves. See, let's do a little, Minnie Mouse costume tour. <laughs> tour. Okay, see, I don't even remember how to vlog or film. Here we have, obviously, obviously. the ears. I decided to do the nose. I just got some red hoops for matching. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the gloves. Obviously. They are way too big, but we're okay with that. She we got big hands. Okay. Cute. Super cute. I put bows. This one keeps flipping no matter how much I try to fix it. At the end of my pigtails. Love it. And I have her yellow shoes, obviously. Yoga pants. So yeah, I, uh, the elephant in the room, no pun intended. Oh. I have been Go gone be. for about a month now. Mm -hmm. And I've always said and made announcements on YouTube that I am going to take a break and I'm going to leave YouTube and I think from the very beginning of YouTube and I've been on here for almost eight years oh my god it's gonna be eight years in November wow so yeah this month is gonna be eight years on YouTube wow that congratulations and I have not been gone from YouTube this long before I have said oh I'm gonna take a break and I'm gone for like three days you know I think the longest I haven't been on YouTube was probably two weeks um, unintentionally, but this has been intentionally. I have needed okay. a time to really reflect on my life, I got it. the decisions I've made, and the things that I'm striving to do with my life, and the person I was, am, and who I want to become. Mm -hmm. I have also been going through a lot of personal things, which those don't need to be said. I mean, I'm just gonna outright tell you guys, I have been going through some personal things that is not up to me to disclose. Also, I have had a lot of just mental issues, problems. I, I know I said I didn't want to talk about that anymore. But honestly, that's stupid. Like, this is my life, and I have been really, really sad lately. I've been suffering with extreme anxiety and worry, and it's just been really bad. I just have not been myself, and I went through a point where I gave up on myself, and this month has just felt so long but so short 
all at the same time. I really respect her opening up about her mental health. That's really hard. Of course, she's gonna get hate and I know she knows it, but I, I respect and I appreciate creators of any volume, you know, opening up and being honest and being real because that's not easy to admit that we have moments of weakness. I'm proud of her for taking time, knowing that something isn't going right and isn't, you know, correct to her standards, and just taking time to step back and reflect and be honest and do some soul searching. That is really good to hear. Very happy for that. And I, I know a a lot of people are gonna hate on her for saying like I'm going through it but I'm not gonna disclose it but really that's that's no one's business I, I've never understood that critique personally because nobody is obligated to share anything about their life at all N nobody is entitled to that information period so I, I I'm not bothered by that I think that is a personal choice and I respect that personal choice I I just don't know what to say I don't know what to say about why I've been gone or why I'm back or I just don't know what to say I have gotten so many people reaching out to me and you guys have been so sweet and kind but then when I go to like the community post that I posted here on YouTube People are disgusting and vicious, and I'm not here for those people. I never will be here for those people. I'm here for the people who care and who are supporters. And I understand that if I had a normal job, I probably wouldn't be able to be gone for a month. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's so crazy. You know, it's almost 2021, and there are some different types of jobs. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can make money on TikTok. Like, what True. are you doing? Like, living your life on TikTok, having a wonderful time, and also making income to live your best life. And I'm here on YouTube. That is how I keep a roof over my head. I am technically my own boss. I never thought I could say that. Like, that's honestly pretty freaking cool. And with the privilege that I have of being able to upload when I want, I just thought this last month was a perfect time for me to do me, be me, figure me out. Because in the beginning of October, I felt myself drifting away. I wasn't feeling right um, mentally and physically. Something was just really truly off. I still don't know what it was. I feel a million times better now. Good. But when that happened, it gave me time to really think about my future and think about what I want and what I need going forward. I know there's been a lot of conspiracies about what's going on. I just want to quickly interject. My only criticism so far is if she intends to make YouTube her full-time job, I do think that she does owe it to her subscribers, her supporters. Just a little heads up that she'll be going. Um, those conspiracies and such form because she didn't tell anybody and she just kind of vanished. I had no idea where she was. I knew she was okay just from, you know, people telling me like, oh, she's like posting on Facebook and whatever, but of course people are, people are gonna, they're worried about you. They're gonna make up reasons why you've been gone. So I don't think that's fair to be like confused and upset by that. And you could have even just posted a quick community tab thing. I'm just gonna take a few weeks off. Please don't worry, just going through some personal things. End at that and then come back when you're ready. Or even just upload a quick five second clip saying, I'm taking a break from YouTube. Done. If you're gonna have it be your job, you need to treat it like it's a job. No, oh, is my cancer back? The answer is no. Have Becky and I been good. broken up? The answer is no. Also good. Am I still alive? Yes. You know, I wanted to pop in and update you guys and explain what I'm going through and what I was going through, but it's like, no. I wanted to be completely off social media. I have wanted to do that for so long and I just never did it. But ever since I got cancer and I moved here and had a hysterectomy and now I live with my girlfriend, just me and her, I feel like I have changed so much mentally yeah. and the way that I handle things and go about things is like so completely different than how I used to be. Even you guys, because I've been told countless times you guys can also see that as well which makes me really happy you know we all grow we all learn from our past mistakes mm. and we just all grow into a different person you know I'm someone different than I was a week ago especially the person I was 
say when I was with my ex Crystal or when mm -hmm. I was with my ex Destiny. Definitely. I, completely different people. I agree. So when I get confronted with the things that I've done in the past repeatedly and repeatedly, it's just like, I don't know how many times I can say I'm sorry, but I've changed. I understand that, but I, I also think that it's important to hold our creators accountable for mistakes and actions they've made. Not, not to, you know, constantly just like throw it in their face and not allow them to change, but if nothing else, let it be a lesson for other creators. Like, maybe don't do this because Emblen Reed did this on this day, and to this day, it's still affecting her career. But just, you know, Jeffree Star, for example, he said some awful vile things in the past and to this day it still impacts him people still talk about it as you know in my opinion as they should i think it's very important to hold creators and even just people in your life accountable for things they might have done or said and it, it, it sounds petty but like if i'm just being real there's there's people in my personal life who have said like awful vile things 10 years ago and I still look at them and see that. It's just human nature because you've gotten to know that person and you think, if they did that in the past, are they still capable of doing that today? I know that I'll never be perfect, but I also know that I'll never make the mistakes I have made in the past. Good, prove it. Because I am a different person. I really just feel like I'm rambling now at this point because I haven't been on here in so long and I haven't talked to you guys in forever. Mm -hmm. And I do want to say, in the midst of me trying to figure my life out i finally have gotten i finally have gotten i finally have got a ring light and we are using Yay. that so <laughs> ring light hi hey. you guys have been telling me for i can't even tell you how long get a ring light get a ring light get i have one light. too they're get life changing y'all i got a freaking ring light Good so for we're you. using it i <laughs> can't see myself using it like while i'm vlogging Unless I know, okay, like, this is going to be a long clip or whatever, because, like, mm. it's just annoying. the ring light's <laughs> huge yeah. and it's tall. It's just, like, this bulky, wobbly thing. Mm -hmm. But whenever I can use it and it, like, makes sense to use it, Toad's going to use it because I feel Toads. like it works really well. What do you guys think? Oh, it does, yeah, girl. I got you. And I have missed you guys as well. We missed and you, And I too. love you guys. And thank you for being patient with me and contacting me seeing if I was okay. I am okay. okay. I have finally just, ah, so much is in my head and I just don't know how to convey it. I just love you guys. I hope you guys are we doing good. We love you good. too, I hope girl. You guys had a great Halloween. I hope you guys stayed super, super safe. Yes, please. And yeah. So I think I'm going to end this here. I'm probably going to like edit this and be like, oh my God, I forgot to mention something because that happens all the time. But I, I will you. be back. Bye. I am so happy to hear that she feels that she's in a good place now and she took time to reflect and she's gonna be a good person and I don't know about you but I fully believe that she's capable of that. I fully believe that she's capable of losing the weight that she wants to and living the life that she deserves and I want nothing more in this world and everyone including Miss Emerlyn Reed to just be happy and be healthy so I love seeing this. What do you guys think? Do you have any any contrasting opinions to me? How do you feel about her coming back? Do you think that she should have stayed off longer? Do you think that she's really a changed woman now? Or do you think a month is too short to change who you are? Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on your way out. My goal for this year, for 2020, this horrible, horrible year, is 500 subscribers and it would warm my soul more than I would care to admit <laughs> if I could meet that goal because I, do I love you guys and I love making videos for you. I upload every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. ESD. So I hope that you stick around to see that because I love looking at your face because I can see you through your webcam. All right. I adore you. I really do. I hope that you had an excellent Halloween. Tell me how it went. I love you and I will see you Thursday. Goodbye.